G'day everyone, I'm Ian Wallace and I'm Professor of Pure Mathematics at Monash. And I want to tell you about the possibility of doing pure mathematics with us. Pure mathematics is motivated by intellectual curiosity, by the sheer beauty of a problem, rather than by trying to solve some real world problem directly. That doesn't mean that it never gets applied. In fact, uh, 2000 years of the study of prime numbers has allowed us to solve the very modern problem of uh, how you communicate online uh, with sensitive information like bank details and so on in order to do things like buy things on the internet. That's something that you'll learn about in algebra number theory one. Uh, and certainly the ancient Greeks when they're thinking about prime numbers didn't have that application in mind. That's the nature of pure mathematics. The other thing I should say about pure mathematics from the outset is that uh, it will make you job ready. So if that's something that you're worried about, don't worry about it. With pure mathematics graduates, they're very highly prized because uh, it is an intellectually demanding pursuit. In order to complete a major or minor in pure mathematics, you will need to demonstrate excellent problem solving skills. And those skills are, are definitely highly prized by employers uh, in all manner of industries, finance, technology, um, in public service, wherever you end up, uh, problem solving skills are really important. So with all due deference to your school teachers, um, pretty much everything you've done so far is the mathematical equivalent of learning to tie your shoelaces. Uh, sorry, sorry to break that to you, but uh, you really haven't got very far on your mathematical journey. You've learned some very important uh, and practical skills, uh, and it's important that you're able to do them correctly or you'll trip yourself up, just like tying your shoelaces. Um, but uh, it doesn't really give you much of an indication of where it's all leading. You know, once you've got your shoes on, which you now do, uh, you can start to explore the world and there's lots of amazing things out there that you can do now that you have your shoes on. But you might not have much idea of what they are. So uh, one of the things I want to do in this video is to talk you through a few of those um, things. Now, in talking about pure mathematics, one of the words I used was beauty, and that might be a word that surprises you. You might associate it with art or music or architecture, but maybe not so much with mathematics. And um, a case in point is the subject of algebra. You might have an idea of algebra of just you know, expanding brackets and getting X's and Y's all tangled up. Uh, and that is algebra, but it's algebra of the tying issue laces variety. Later on in algebra, such as in a, um, second and third year courses in algebra, you might learn to uh, really appreciate beauty because there's a subject called group theory, which is part of algebra, and it is the study of symmetry. The same sort of symmetry that you see in art, art or architecture and which makes things beautiful. So you learn about symmetry in algebra. Another important uh, pure mathematical subject is analysis. Analysis deals with the way things change, flow, adapt. And uh, if this whole COVID mess has taught us anything, it's that uh, things can change quite quickly and dramatically and chaotically. And uh, in studying analysis, you'll get tools for, um, well, certainly studying things like viral outbreaks, but also um, stock market crashes, which can result from viral outbreaks and all manner of other things. So. Um, Differential equations is a, is a subject that you can study uh, in pure mathematics at Monash. And uh, these are tools for modeling change. And there's a new subject that you might have um, not met before, which is called topology. Topology is a bit like geometry, except that you're allowed to bend and stretch and twist things as long as you don't tear them. And um, one of our uh, leading lights in topology is Jessica Purcell. She studies knot theory. And, and knot theory is the uh, study of how things get tangled up. Um, so if you're not so good at tying your shoelaces, maybe this is a subject you should, you should do. No, only kidding. Uh, Jessica will certainly tell you many different ways to tie your shoelaces. But, um, but it has uh, certainly more serious applications in, in things like studying uh, how chemical molecules intertwine and all that sort of thing. Uh, another subject we have uh, considerable strength in is, is graph theory. Uh, a graph in this context is a network. So it could be a transport network or a social network or a computer network or a biological network. 
there are networks everywhere in the modern world and graph theory allows you to um, study the properties of networks, model them, work out uh, what things make them reliable and so on. So we have a whole range of different subjects, uh, all of which uh, you are now ready to explore should you choose to. Um, what would make you think that uh, these are good things to do? Well, firstly, uh, it is important to point out that uh, these are intellectually demanding courses and you do need to have some skills and aptitude, but I'm assuming that since you're watching this video, you probably have some interest in mathematics or you've done well at it so far. Um, but maybe you haven't been so inspired by it. Um, maybe you're more interested in, in physics or finance or computing or other areas. All of these are very, very mathematical areas and you'll certainly need mathematics if you're gonna do those things in any seriousness. Um, but you might actually discover that university mathematics, because it's so much more interesting and challenging than high school mathematics might actually be your area. You don't need to make those decisions yet. You can try some courses out and just see how you go. Uh, if it turns out that mathematics really is your thing, then you can go on and do uh, higher level mathematics with us. We have lots of uh, research options. You might think that mathematics was all solved centuries ago and um, is now just taught in, in the classroom and that's it. Uh, but mathematics is actually a very active area of research and we have lots of research going on in the uh, School of Mathematics here at Monash. We have people like Todd Olenik, who is studying Einstein's equations and uh, general relativity and how the, you know, how the universe all fits together um, from a mathematical point of view, a pure mathematical point of view. Uh, I've already mentioned Jessica, who studies knot theory and topology. Uh, we have um, people researching in uh, graph theory and so on, and in, and in algebra. So there's lots of research options. Uh, mathematics is very much alive and, and kicking in terms of discoveries are being made all the time. It's actually really exciting. I mean, I still can't believe it. I've been doing it for years. I still can't believe people pay me to solve puzzles. And, um, you know, just like solving a crossword puzzle or a jigsaw puzzle or any other kind of puzzle, um, it's very satisfying to solve a puzzle. But it's really, really satisfying if you know that no one else has ever managed to solve it before. And that's not something you can get from a jigsaw or a crossword. But you do get the same satisfaction of, you know, slotting that last piece into the puzzle and finally seeing the whole picture and saying, yeah, okay, I get it now. It all fits. I get that kind of satisfaction from solving puzzles, from uh, grappling with uh, difficult intellectual ideas and seeing how they all fit together and, and uh, fitting them together, then maybe mathematics could be for you. And, uh, I look forward to seeing you in later years and um, yeah, strap on your shoes. You know how to tie them up now. Let's go and explore the mathematical world. Welcome to Monash.